सो हाई एवरी वन टूडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग नो गर्ल्स एट माई सन्स फ्यूनरल विच इज रिटन बाय पारवानंद शी इज अ वेरी सक्सेसफुल राइटर इन हिज होल लाइफ शी वॉज अवॉर्डेड बाय ए पी जे अब्दुल कलाम एंड शी इज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट राइटर आई शुड से बिकॉज इफ यू सी हर इंटरव्यूज दे आर वेरी मच लाइक नाइस एक्सीलेंट वेरी नाइस इंटरव्यूज सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द बेसिक प्लॉट फर्स्ट अफ्ताब अ यंग कश्मीरी बॉय लेट्स अ डबल लाइफ बाय डे He is normal, bubbly teenager whose prime concerns are cricket, family, and friends. You should know about it. Read this line carefully because you should write it in your exam. The night holds the secrets of the life of a child who sneaks away to confabulate with Akram and his fleeting group of tear away terrorists. So he is joined with some terrorist group types. Akram is so handsome, so exciting. but what aftab doesn't realize so dangerous aftab is in complete away of akram and is willing to follow him to the ends of the earth and akram is more than willing to send him there so you should see like aftab don't know anything but at the same time akram is like a mind changer he is very much like a mind changer so once we have completed this let's read a summary in good reads Aftab a young Kashmiri boy leads a double life which i have already talked about uh, let's just come so down but what aftab doesn't realize so dangerous aftab is in complete uh, of akram and is willing to follow him to the end of the earth and akram is more than willing to send him there we have talked about this let's uh, just read a little bit parwan and demolishes stereotypes tells us kashmir kids want peace not violence so she said this kashmir people are not like ki you know what the violence karna hai ya fir har koi insaan jaisa nahi hota ek jaisa nahi hota to kashmir ke jo kids hai mostly unhe peace chahiye unhe shanti chahiye not violence at the same time in no guns at my son's funeral a 172 page essay that goes into the mind of a kashmiri boy leading a double life used by militants loved by family is the book she uses to reveal a few secrets her world then well All this together is world of Parvanand, a woman so warm with her hospitality that coffee with little milk and no sugar does not distract her. Her words so genuine at that afternoon sun gently slides down and evening shadow lengthen without realizing the time had lapsed. But then she is nothing if not credible. After all, that is the trait she has used. with distinction on her visit kashmir let's just read a little bit more i was in kagal it's a, like a letter in newsletter type of parwanand and i have watched many interviews of parwanand if you want to watch one of them i will link it in description and you should watch it like it is not related to the syllabus but it will help you in your exams in your further studies i was in kagal working for the national book trust bringing out the world's largest newspaper then the war took place i went baramula and uri places which make news only for strikes by terrorists they are heard of in death not life i met children who had lost their father to such strikes children who had been impacted by violence amazingly they did not want to avenge death they wanted a way out they felt as if in a trap the two walls the security forces on the one side and the terrorist on the other there was a lot of resentment against the forces because they were visible enemy but they did not see it as a heroic struggle or fight for freedom when i went there as a part of rajiv gandhi foundation initiative i found they could not wait to get enrolled for the voters list they were very proud of elections like in delhi i should say like we have elections in our in delhi after maybe one month but not many people go to vote but in jammu kashmir if you see the voting rate is little bit high according to delhi i should say no gains at my son's funeral is set against the terrorism and militancy in kashmir so this is a type of notes you can copy it down or you can just change its language and then copy it down also if you are planning to take a course on uh, if when if you are in semester 5 or semester 3 and planning to take a course for semester 4 and semester 
I am also planning to bring a course on semester 2 for English honor students. If you want to take it, do let me know in the comments because I will be coming live for you people. And it is a very specific course and it is a going to be a paid course. So if you are interested, do let me know. I will be bringing live sessions. I will be helping you with the previous year question papers. I will be giving you some answers like how to write. I will be giving you a pattern or like a type of pattern which exams generally follows. And if you want a video on it, do let me know. I will make it like a two or three days back. Uh, or maybe after tomorrow or day after tomorrow. No girl and my son's funeral is set against the terrorism and militancy in Kashmir, which has been a hotbed of violence for decades. It's a story about a teenage Muslim boy, Aftab, who lives with his family in Baramula. There's is a simple, modest and peace-loving family living harmoniously along with their Hindu and Sikh neighbors. However, there is one hidden fact. Aftar belongs to a terrorist group. So, do you know about it? Like right now, do we get to know about it previously? The young boy of these three families are good friends and enjoy playing in each other's company, especially cricket, their favorite sports. Aftar being the only exception as he is frequently sneaking off his terrorist buddies without anyone's knowledge for quite some time. So he is spending his time with some of terrorists I should say but uh, they are not terrorists, they are his buddies. For him they are his buddies but at the same time they are terrorist buddies. Anand does not waste time and Paige is introducing the various characters in the novel instead. She plunges straight into the story with Aftab trying to sneak off from his house successfully at night to the secret hideouts of his terrorist group. But Aftab is like so innocent boy, he doesn't know about it, that he is becoming a wrong person when he is thinking that he is with right people. Akram is an Afghan who heads this terrorist group. You should know about it, the name Akram and Aftab. Aftab, innocent, Akram, uh, a group ter terrorist group head. Anand manages to create the perfect villain in Akram who epitomizes the idea of a perfect terrorist leader. He is cunning, fierce, cruel, deceptive. Write these words, cunning, fierce, cruel, deceptive. Who is the master in the art of manipulating people's minds and emotions. At the same time, Akram is charming and enigmatic and seduces his recruits emotionally, promising them Jannat. Jannat means heaven as a reward for their meritron. Uh, let's read some more paragraphs. The story's main focus is how Aftab juggles his family life and his life as a budding terrorist, trying to prove himself worthy and desperate to win admiration from his boss, Akram, whom he hero worships like he worships him but he is not a, a type of person who should be worshipped and is willing to die for him. Like a uh, terrorist generally can die for his their boss or for their heads. In the beginning, Aftab struggles a bit emotionally but with his mother and father who hate violence only hoping for peace in Kashmir. As the story unravels, a secret revelation known only to Aftab by one of his family members further bolsters his elegance and attempts to carry out Akram's order. Aftab highly, uh, Aftab, highly intoxicated under Akram's spell, does exactly as ordered. Despite of warnings from his family and friends, who merely suspect him of falling into bad company of friends who might be terrorists. So this is the end we are going with. The story ends on a tragic note leaving you with mixed feelings. So you are going to be have a kind of mixed feelings for Aftab and sympathy for the innocent families of Kashmir raised by terrorism. They are like tired. They are like they are not happy with terrorism. They don't want terrorism or they don't want terrorists. But people like in other states feel that Kashmiris are generally terrorists. Which means uh, if you watch Paro Anand's uh, interview which I will be giving you the link in description she said when uh, she said in one of her stories maybe and she said every uh, every uh, terrorist ha every muslim is a terrorist maybe matlab like maybe every muslim is a terrorist but 
every terrorist is not a muslim like some uh, type of this line maybe i have reversed it but you should watch that interview the story is pretty much predictable yet gets you hooked right from page 1 the book is an easy read by as anand uses simple language to tell a simple yet compelling story with sincerity she refrains from indulging in complex and sophisticated sounding vocabulary that often sounds pretentious do you know what is the meaning of pretentious if you know do let me know in the comments also anand does not indulge in romanticizing the beauty of kashmir getting unnecessarily poetic dragging the plot of the story so she is not a kind of writer who wants pages to be written in a novel or in a short story and she is not a type of person uh, who writes complex words to make her uh, look like a uh, different world of a different world she wants uh, people to read his story she uses simple language so that people can easily read it and people can like they can understand it and they can make their own choices they can make their own differences that who is right who is wrong uh, not like that but also she wants to be people to be a little bit like decision maker they don't she don't want people to be like uh, decided by someone else or uh, like aftab he is going in the wrong path but he is following akram so he feels that i am doing right and all the people in the other um, like all the people in his community they are wrong so you have to see this and most important is if you have any query do let me know in the comments and stay safe stay positive all the best and yes one more thing is prepare for exam and if you want any video on like how to write exams like how to write answer in exams mainly of 10 marks 20 marks how to use quotes how to use mainly exposition how to write exposition what should be written in introduction and the conclusion if you want this video do let me know in the comments i will bring it on or uh, maybe two or three days after this video so if you have any query do let me know in the comments stay safe stay positive and yes thanks for watching bye bye